always begin the day with goodwill. Goodwill is a wish for happiness. The word metta is sometimes translated as loving-kindness, but it's important to realize that goodwill is not the same thing as love. As the Buddha said, love can be partial. There are actually people you hate because you love other people. Someone mistreats someone you love and you tend to hate that person. Goodwill, however, is a more general wish for happiness. It means not only may beings be happy, but also may they do the things that will lead to genuine happiness. This is why you can spread goodwill to everybody without hypocrisy. If you see someone is behaving in an unskillful way, goodwill means may that person stop behaving in unskillful ways and start behaving in more skillful ways that lead to true happiness. And because true happiness comes from within, it means you can spread goodwill to everybody without conflict. Most of the happiness of the world depends on one person gaining and another person losing. But true happiness comes from the inside, the qualities we develop in the mind. And so it's good every day to survey the world in your mind and to have no ill will for anybody. May all beings act in skillful ways, may all beings be happy. And you maintain that wish, not only for their sake, but also for your own. Because when you have goodwill established in your mind for everybody, that means you can trust yourself around everybody, if the goodwill is genuine. If your goodwill is partial, there are going to be some people out there that you're going to want to mistreat, or you're just going to be ca careless in how you treat them. But goodwill reminds you, okay, I've got to behave in a way that doesn't harm this person. In that way, it's your own protection. The Buddha talks about goodwill as a protection, both in the sense of protecting you from your own internal defilements, but also from the results that would come back at you from acting on those defilements. And of course, it's our motivation for practicing. We want to find good happiness inside ourselves, so we have goodwill for ourselves. In some meditation exercises, they actually have you start with yourself and then spread out to everybody. And other times you spread out to everybody and then come back to yourself. The important thing is that you develop a goodwill that's universal. And that way you can trust yourself wherever you go. Then no matter what anybody else does, you're going to have goodwill. And when you have that attitude in mind, then you can sit down and meditate. The mind is a lot clearer. I'm a lot more inclined to want to deal with its issues inside and to drop the issues outside. Because if a true happiness is going to happen, it has to come from within.